What up everyone, welcome back to another video. I have been absent last week. I did not post on here for those of you who have been following up with my weekly videos. I went down to Florida to go visit my grandpa. He just got out of the hospital from COVID. He was fighting COVID for like a month. So I had to go visit him and, and spend some time with family, you know, just relax a little bit. How, the mental health was much better. So I'm back on the grind posting weekly videos. So um, let me show you daily vitamins and minerals that I take. Uh, multivitamin Go for overall, you know, all your vitamins in your body, uh, omega-3 fish oils, and uh, vitamin D for your bones and teeth. So, and then as always, before I go work out, I'm gonna show you the top three exercises you must be doing for your rear delts, which is the little muscle group in the back of your delts right here. That's a very underdeveloped muscle group that people struggle with. So I'm gonna show you the top three exercises that will help you build that muscle mass up in that area of your rear delts. So pre-workout as always, one of nutrition pre for focus, pump, and energy. Let's take this and head out there. Guys, if you're new to the channel, turn on your post notifications for future videos. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and give me a thumbs up. Let's get it. All right guys, let's get into the first exercise, which is the cable rope face pulls. Find yourself a rope around your gym and put the cable setting at chest level. Grab the rope overhand and flare your elbows when bringing the rope close to your face. Make sure you're getting full range of motion by bringing the rope all the way out in front of you, getting the stretch on the real delts and bringing the rope close to your face. Make sure you contract and squeeze on the real delts. Muscle mind connection is very important in this exercise, guys. Make sure you're putting your mind on that muscle. Use a weight that you can control and feel during each rep. Take your time through the movement until you get the form correct. Then you can start increasing the reps, weight, and sets. The second exercise is called incline bench dumbbell rear delt flies. This exercise is great because it puts all the stress directly on your rear delts without using momentum or swinging. Grab a pair of dumbbells that you can control, lay down on the bench, grab the dumbbells horizontally. Then you're going to lift the dumbbells out to your sides, keeping constant tension. As always, guys, make sure you are getting full range of motion, bringing the dumbbells close together and extending out your arms all the way out with a slight bend of your elbows. Only increase the weight when you have mastered the form and you can control heavier weights. Exercise is bent over barbell reel del rows. I recommend you use an easy bar or medium straight bar guys. Bend knees slightly and bend over with your back straight, approximately horizontal. Grab the bar with a wide overhand grip, keeping upper arm perpendicular to your torso. Pull barbell up towards your upper chest until your upper arms are just beyond horizontal. Return and repeat. Make sure you squeeze the delts when bringing the barbell up. All right guys, so I am back home and those, I just showed you the top three exercises you should be doing for your redouts. Uh, this is gonna give you the best results in a faster amount of time. If you consistently do them in your shoulder routine or back routine, because it is part of your back. So it's up to you what you wanna implement it in on your weekly basis, on your workouts. Guys, uh, implement these. These have, have been working for me for a long time. I've been working out for about going to nine years now. So. Uh, it has helped me develop that little muscle in the back of your, your delts. So now I'm gonna have my post-workout meal, but as you see, I don't have a meal right now. Um, I did prep some ground turkey, I'm gonna put it to cook now. So while that's cooking, I'm gonna have a post-workout protein shake, as you can see here. I recommend you guys invest in a protein powder. It's a fast way to increase your protein intake for the day. And if you're not eating after your workouts, guys, you're missing out on, on, on gains. So I recommend you have at least a protein shake if you don't have a meal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up as always. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you're new to this channel. Um, turn on my post notifications. And for those of you who have been watching my videos consistently throughout the week, um, I appreciate you guys. I'll be posting more every week. So turn on those post notifications so you can see my future videos. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.